Liam Payne shocks fans with one D post. Chloe Kardashian dragged over latest Photoshop pic. And Demi Lovato reveals her new man. All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. Welcome to today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown, you guys. I'm Susan Morad. And I'm Emil, and it's Junior, it's Hump Day! Day. Oh, wait, I didn't even know you were going to do that, you but know, I, you know. I was just like, it's Hump Day! It's and Hump Day. Just... If you watch CHR, you know that means nothing here, but we're glad that you're here with us. And we want you to come back, and the best way to come back is if you subscribe, because then you'll see when we post things, click that bell, and also leave a comment in the comment section below. Yes, but we've got so much tea to jump straight into today, mm -hmm. Emil. Uh, kicking things off with Demi Lovato and her new man. Mm. Big Demi Lovato news today, you guys. So she has a new man in her life. And if you don't believe us, she put it on the gram. Demi, who is currently filming her cameo in the final season of Will & Grace, took time while in her dressing room to post a photo to Instagram. Demi posted this photo of her and Austin Wilson, along with the caption, my red heart emoji. And he reciprocated the favor on his own Instagram around the same time on Tuesday evening. He posted a photo seemingly from a different day in different clothes, along with the caption, my love. So it looks like things might actually be pretty serious between them. I wouldn't call someone my love on social media unless it was the real deal. And the two different photos mean that they've actually seen each other at least a few times. Fans are sharing their thoughts in the comment section and some of them are already making assumptions about him already but other fans are defending him like this person who said I love how everyone assumes he's a drug dealer because of his tattoos shaking my head immature people in this world also this fan who said y'all need to believe that Demi is in a place where she can take proper care of herself and maybe don't judge a book by its cover plenty of people out there got tattoos with no relation to drugs I hope you're happy Demi and someone else said I thought this was Justin Bieber. How can that be Justin Bieber? I mean, hey, you know, people do a quick glance, they're scrolling like, whoa! Oh yeah, which is something similar to one of our stories in mm -hmm. the episode later today. But I'm so happy that Hem Hemi. Hemi. I'm so happy that Demi is happy. And um, if she's putting it out there on the gram, yeah. it does mean like it's kind of serious. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll see what happens mm -hmm. as time goes on. All right, so what's this Khloe Kardashian Photoshop? What's happening? Okay, so you know Kim, Khloe, and Courtney are currently promoting mm -hmm. KKW Diamonds, their new fragrance, yeah. um, which is also that moment on the red carpet that we talked about earlier in the week when Kim was trying to promote it on the red carpet of the People's Choice Awards, that awkward moment with Courtney. Anyway, that's not about this story. Um, the latest picture that got posted about like their KKW Diamonds campaign has a lot of fans scratching their heads because a lot think Chloe is unrecognizable because of the Photoshop. So yesterday, Kim posted this picture of her and her sister Courtney and Chloe, along with the caption, KKW Diamonds is all I need to smell divine this holiday season. And yes, the girls look bomb, but I don't know about you, but we had to kind of do a bit of a double take and then zoom in closer to figure out if that was actually Chloe in the middle. Now on first glance, it's a little bit hard to tell. Of course, Chloe has brown hair in this picture, so that's a bit of a difference that could have thrown a lot of people off. However, based on the comments, a lot of people were really confused over this pic, calling them out for photoshopping. Like this person who said, LOL, what happened to Chloe? And doesn't even look like Chloe anymore at this point. As well as this person who said, who's that in the middle? Then there was those that were asking if Chloe was actually Courtney, saying, I think he photoshopped Courtney's face onto Chloe's. And then there was also a stack of people thinking it was Sophia Richie, saying things like, literally thought Chloe was Sophia Richie. But you guys, it doesn't end there. There was also a number of other users who thought Chloe was actually looking like Kylie. And then even Kendall got a mention with, I thought Chloe was Kendall. But it wasn't only Chloe's face that people noticed looked quite different. There was also a number of fans who noticed how different the girls' booties looked in this pic, like this person who said, your butts look normal here. And this person who said, Chloe Ant booty disappeared, which prompted responses like, same thing I said, photoshopped like a MF, LOL. And looks like they photoshopped Kim and Chloe's butt to look smaller. Of course, Chloe has come under fire a number of times in the past for heavily photoshopping her pictures. Kim has too, but Chloe often gets called out for photoshopping to the point that people think it doesn't actually really look like her anymore. I did a double take, remember, we were talking mm -hmm. about this yesterday when I was scrolling through my feed and I was like, what, is that Chloe? And yeah. she, she looks amazing, yeah. but she looks different. No, you know, I, I, at this point, I can't, <laughs> like they look different all the time to me. Um, I've said it recently, I love the brunette on Chloe right now. 
or at least in the campaign. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as being shocked by them being unrecognizable or the booty being smaller or bigger, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, guys, so the wait is over. Yesterday we were talking about the wait is over for <gasps> Disney+. Plus. Yes. Today we're talking about something Disney related. I'm talking about Prince Eric. He has been cast and uh, we're gonna break it down. So there's been so much speculation over the last few months about who will be playing Prince Eric in the live action version of The Little Mermaid. Harry Styles' name was thrown around for a while, but he declined the role. Then people were asking for Shawn Mendes to play the role. Plenty of actors were throwing their own names in the hat, but the role ultimately went to 24-year-old British actor Jonah Howard King. And if you're wondering where Jonah hailed from, his recent roles include A Dog's Way Home and Little Women. So he's building up quite the resume, but Jonah will be starring alongside Halle Bailey, who secured the leading role of Ariel, Jacob Tremblay, Aquafina, and rumors have been heavily circulating that other A-listers, including Melissa McCarthy and Javier Bardem, will also be joining the cast. And if you're wondering, he can sing. The Baffle King composing Hallelujah. Now we have to point out this news is super recent because it was only after his second screen test that Jonah was selected for the role, his most recent being last weekend. So this is just added proof that news travels so fast in the land of Hollywood and fans seem to be excited and shutting down haters. One person tweeted, thinking about Jonah and his softness and bright blue eyes. Someone else said, if you're mad that Jonah is Prince Eric because you don't know him, you're dumb. There are tons of incredibly talented people who don't get the recognition they deserve. Being well known does not equal being good for a part. He's gonna kill it, also look at him. However, one person that's not happy about this is 13 Reasons Why star Christian Navarro. He slammed Disney in his tweet that says, Jess came back to say after months of seeing every person of color that they could think of for the role of Prince Eric, Disney somehow still cast a white guy. I guess diversity is just a word and that's Hollywood. One brown person is enough, two brown leads is unthinkable. So the interesting thing is in the replies, people were agreeing with him to a certain extent, but there were a lot of people who were saying that, you know, by saying that statement, that makes it seem like the person they chose isn't right for the role, but ultimately, you know, they do chemistry tests and all these things. So I get what he's saying with diversity, but at the same time, I do understand that when you are casting for roles, you are looking at multiple people and it's it's a complicated situation. It's but so complicated and none of us ever know really what casting people are looking right, for and right. sometimes they don't even know what they're looking for until they see it yeah so it seems like in this case they have made the decision based on you assume chemistry and all the other factors yeah. that come into play but it would suck missing out on a role a hundred percent especially one that big mm -hmm. but but yeah i actually can't wait to see the movie i know i'm excited <laughs> emil mm -hmm. is it true that potentially there was maybe like a one direction post that a lot of people thought was a one day reunion like really really happening this okay time? listen so we've been talking about one directioners and one d members and past one past, d members yes. <laughs> it's been all over harry styles liam payne Zay like we keep talking about them but something happened that really has fans talking. So of course we've talked a lot about Harry Styles in particular recently because of his new music and album and he just announced his world tour. But to be fair, it seems like we've been talking, like I said, a lot about former 1D members recently for different reasons. In fact, a few DHRs ago, we were talking about a recent interview that Liam Payne did where he opened up about Zayn. But today we're talking about Liam Payne again because he just had fans go through every possible emotion with one post. So fans went from excited to shocked to let down and disappointed. It all came from this Instagram post that Liam posted. He captioned it saying, happy four years, made in the AM, honestly one of my fave albums we made. Also four years in and I finally learned how to look towards the camera, not away from it. <laughs> he goes on to make some funny commentary about his pose, but fans were thinking that this was teasing a 1D reunion because fans of course are still wanting that. So when they saw this post, their hearts instantly dropped. One fan replied, why did I think this was the comeback tour announcement? To which tons of fans replied, like this one who said, my heart stopped for a moment when I saw the notification, we're all, and then a clown emoji. Or this one who said, dude, me too, I had a minor heart attack. And then there was this person on Twitter who said, probably a clue for 1D reunion. So we understand why fans would be triggered, but what if we got a collab with the boys on his new album that's dropping on December 6th? I mean, we have a lot of new music coming from multiple 1D members. Yes. So I don't think it'll be a stretch to at least get a feature by one of, you know? Right, yeah. And I mean, how cool would it be if they all did sort of link up, even if it wasn't for one of their, or maybe, you know, when they, like a lot of, artists when they have concerts, yeah. they'll, they'll call up special guests. Oh, yeah. This would be a great way for them to not have to like drum it up as a 1D right. reunion, but like get them all up on stage during one of the shows mm -hmm. or one of the tours, or even just, you know, at Christmas time, 
trying to celebrate oh, God. Christmas. You if know they what? did that, the people at that particular city show would freak out. I'd be <laughs> devastated to miss that. <laughs> like, wait, what is my name? All right, you know what time it is. It is time for the final rundown. rundown. One and a half minutes on the clock. You guys, Taylor Swift and Shawn Mendes have remixed Lover together. Mm. That's right, Taylor revealed the collaboration with Shawn Mendes this morning and said that she's been dying to collaborate with him. And the best part, we don't even have to wait. It is literally out right now. Taylor wrote, well guys, it's finally happened. We did a collaboration, sending out a whole entire thanks buddy to Shawn Mendes right now. I'm so stoked that our remix of Lover is out now. And if you've already listened to it, which I'm pretty sure you have, you would have noticed that some of the lyrics have actually changed. Taylor said, he's taken Lover and he has rewritten parts of it. Everybody would write a different love letter. And I'm pretty sure we don't need to guess who Shawn was writing a love letter to with his own lyrics. Ugh, I love it so much. It's so good. It really is fun. I didn't think I could love that song anymore, and, and now I do. I know, right? But we have to move on. Because Rihanna posted an interesting Instagram post that has fans wondering what BRB and balance really mean. So Rihanna's opening up. She shared this photo to her Instagram and said, to all my friends, family, coworkers who I have yet to get back to in the past month, Please forgive me. This year has been quite an overwhelming one and I'm working on that ish called Balance, BRB. Now fans are wondering how long her break will be and also, is Balance capitalized for a reason? We'll have to wait and see. Now Disney Plus may have had some launch hiccups yesterday, but it looks like it turned out to be a huge success. Disney revealed that they had 10 million signups to the platform, so that sounds like a great start. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I so exciting right now yeah. with all the different platforms and stream like streaming platforms and and just Hulu, Netflix, Apple. Amazon, Apple, Disney Plus. Like it is so. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> all right, you guys. It is the end of the show, but we'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But before then, we have some questions. What have you got? On your mind, Emil. So I just want to know what you guys think about Prince Eric, the casting of Prince Eric, I guess just to say for Little Mermaid. Um, let us know in the comment section below. Yes, also, what did you think of Chloe in that pic we showed earlier? Do you think she looked unrecognizable? Do you think there was a lot of Photoshop involved? Or do you think, you know, it just looks like Chloe? Let us know and we'll be back here tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye guys. But wait, before you go, click right over here or somewhere over here to check out yesterday's episode of DHR. Yes, and while you're there clicking in the clicking moon, should hit that subscribe button if you haven't before. I mean, I don't know why you I wouldn't know. want to. It's really pretty. Did you click it?